Hello, everybody. What an ordeal. What an ordeal. <laughs> For the last few days, I have been trying. Well, actually, I did do a video where I showed all my babies. I had it all set up in my kitchen, had my babies on the ones that I've done or purchased or whatever, because I have not done anything like that. Had it with the tripod, couldn't get the tripod working there the way I wanted it to. Um, and then it went on way too long and I rambled about this and rambled about that. And so I tried to cut those and edit those pieces out and I've never really dealed with, dealed. I've never really done a whole lot of editing. It's such a pain in the arse. And then I was like, oh my goodness, how do the folks who do these beautiful videos do it? They are like amazing. I mean, my tripod, tripod, tripod actually um, is good. It's just it doesn't bend down. Like we'll get a shot like this or the like this, but not like this. So how do we get that? Me standing here constantly or I, I'm going to have to get another tripod pod. I'm going to keep saying tripod, so just get used to it. Anywho. I'm holding it currently. I'm holding my camera to video. What I did in the previous video, which I tried and edited different things for days, put music on, speeding things up, slowing it down, do all kinds of stuff. And then my thing kept crashing because I use Rush from Adobe. Um, and it kept crashing because I was expecting too much from it, I guess. I was putting music on and then I was speeding it up through things that was just going on and on forever because I can ramble like I am now. And anywho, it ended up being just, anyway, I don't even want to put it up there. It's just, it was a lot of work and I talked about each baby and I was so excited and I was dressed and then I was laughing and carrying it on and I was having so much fun. But I don't think you guys would want to watch a long-winded video, so I didn't put it up. Anyway, here I am back. My babies are already dressed and i was excited to get clothes because i never had clothes really um just an outfit here and there i didn't even have them all dressed but i went to the thrift store got a bunch of stuff so it's really good this baby i'll talk about this baby but i'm gonna have to put this down because i don't think i'm gonna be able to hold this all the time but i will say this baby here as you can see is a sweetie I love her. She's actually a uh, pre-painted or factory painted whatever baby that you buy and get from Bountiful Baby and you put together. And uh, she comes with her eyes. <laughs> Look at her. She's so beautiful. And um, her hair. And I just put this. It's like painted, but actually grooved in or whatever like the old babies were and um, you just put her together and I think she's beautiful and I dressed her I was so excited to dress her and I named her Lucy so this is my Lucy and I love her so much and the babies that I will show are you know what I I am not no artist I am learning I've seen people on videos who actually um, are, they're saying they're new artists and, or on different Facebook groups because I'm on f Facebook groups for new artists and, and things like that. And, and they show their babies and they're absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. I am far from that. <laughs> I am not an artist in any way, shape or form for anything except for digital stuff. I create different digital stuff, which is on my website, Busy Bee Emporium. But as for baby dolls, yeah, it's a new experience for me. So here's your cool little feet from this baby. Oh, you can see her nails. And I love her. She's just so sweet. And that's my silly arse dog out there. Wally, act like an ass. Wally! He hears me talking, so he's looking at the window, because I'm by the window. Because another thing, getting the lighting just right. How do you guys do this? Okay, because 
when I did the original video at my kitchen table and I went through each baby and I had them all set up beautiful around the kitchen table and I brought each one down, talked about it, talked about the errors I made and blah, 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 which is okay because I love them. They're my babies and it's all good. I'm not, um, I would like to be able to sell some babies someday, but currently I'm not at that point. Or if I am, it's just a cost. If I do, because <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, you got, they're not perfection. That's why they would be very, very, you know, just a cost. Anywho, um, I got the video done. I started the video by my patio door and I opened up the curtains and the backlight was too much. So I said, well, how am I going to do this? I guess I should have done it from standing in front of anywho, doesn't matter. I did the whole video for an hour and the coloring after I did that was not very good. It was actually an over an hour. Then I edited, 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 break down to probably about 40 minutes. And then when I play it, it looks ridiculous. Anyway, I guess I'm a perfectionist. No, it's not that. It's just, I don't want to bore people. Um, so I uh, decided I would do another quick little scan of the babies, which I might put on um, with the window curtains opened. When the lighting is better and it's not as bright because by that point came it wasn't a bright bright sun so it was okay but how in the world do you guys get such beautiful beautiful shots like so people can actually see the skin tone like i put this as a lamp i put on and you see it gives a backlight um i'm in front of a window um i don't know if you can see but i'm but i'm yeah, I'm inside of a window. So anyway, that's what that looks like. Um, I'll try my best to show and talk and dress and play. Because I'll tell you what, on my video that I did, um, <laughs> I had so much fun dressing the babies. And I wish somehow I could show you guys because I laughed and giggles. I felt like I was a little, little kid again, honestly. I mean, I had a crap load of babies when I was young. And anyway, my grandmother ended up selling them at the flea market. But that is it. I have two left over from the 70s, early 80s. Um, I think it's just the 70s. No, 70s, yeah. Um, that I'm going to clean up and uh, um, be able to show you guys. But uh, all my other babies are gone. And um, I love watching the ladies and, and guys out there. Beautiful, beautiful videos of playing with your dolls, dressing your dolls, taking them out on outings, naming them, cuddling them, feeding them, all those beautiful videos. And at first, I know people might think, you know, people are out to lunch to do that sort of thing. But you know what? Why should we care? The problem was with them, right? And so if it makes you happy, be happy. And this makes me happy. This makes me feel like one, I'm a little girl again. And two, my kids are bigger. I'm not having any more children. I always wanted a house full of children. But I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, I'm smiling right now just looking at her. Look at her. She looks like she's smiling and giggling back at me. Don't you? Yes, she does. I love her. Okay, Lucy. Thank you, Lucy, for being my little model for a short period of time. And um, yeah, people collect things. People play with things. My partner collects cards, banknotes, comic books, and he looks at them and he, um, you know, organizes them and he does his thing. And a lot of people don't think much of that. But the baby dolls, sometimes people think that's... You know, well, I've just, I don't know. I'm just assuming people would. And maybe, maybe um, the people didn't really understand when I started buying them myself in my circle of people, which is just family, really. But you know what? I'm having so much fun. I love them. I'd love to be able to purchase a baby um, sometime from a professional artist. And um, 
that's something that I will do in the future. But until now, I um, bought kits and started to paint kits. Wow, did I ever find out that that's not easy to do? Holy goodness, you guys that do these beautiful, beautiful babies are remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Your talent is over the top. Over the top. Um, and I love watching it. I just don't have um, the skills as at, at this point. By the time, like all the kits I did and painted so far, and the ones I stripped and need to strip again, and blah, 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 and still got to add things to it. And oh my goodness, you know what? I should have just bought um, a baby from a professional person because I've been wanting a reborn baby for a little while. I've been watching videos upon videos upon videos of reborn babies, and I never. Um, bought one and I said to my husband not my husband my partner I said um, you know and I would like to get a kit and I thought well if I got a kit then maybe I could at least make a little one for myself and it's not gonna cost me thousand plus dollars right and uh, yeah by the time I kept buying kits and I maybe probably shouldn't have because I should have just got a professional baby um, I have a bunch of baby dolls that probably will be mine because you know <laughs> they're not next to godliness that's for sure um <laughs> and the cost would have paid for a professional baby but the thing is i wouldn't have the fun well the frustration and, and, and oh sometimes really frustration but the fun it's one thing that i found since i've left work um my um, career in the mental health field that has really benefited my mental health. The actually painting of the babies, the holding the babies, and currently the dressing of the babies because I never had clothes before is so much fun. I went into my deep trunk of things that I have saved for my children um, and took some baby clothes out and a couple baby blankets that you have packed away. My mom had a couple of my dresses saved, to which I have. Um, so they're really old, 50 years old. <laughs> so, and they're just sitting there smelling, like, you know, getting kind of musty and stuff. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to wash all these and I'm going to use these. Yes, why not? Why not wash them and use them, right? I'm, my kids can take them for sure, but it's a lot better to to wash them and keep them fresh than to have them packed away. So I did that. So I'm really, I'm really getting excited. I really am. So this is my first baby, not my first baby. This is one of my babies. She's bountiful baby. She is a pre-painted baby that you order, you put her together. She was on sale when I got her and I call her Lucy. This is my Lucy baby. Beautiful. Lover. Okay, guys, thanks a bunch. Bye. Yes, I got to share the story for Lu of um, Lucy. So, Lucy's story I adopted Lucy. First, I fostered her for a little while. And uh, then, um, you know, it came to that she was up for adoption. And so, I adopted Lucy. And her story is basically that. It was a young girl in the neighborhood and um, she was young and it was difficult for her to juggle school and work and caring for Lucy. And she didn't have a lot of family support. And unfortunately for her, she decided the best thing for her was to um, put her up for adoption after she was in foster care for a little while. So that's Lucy's mom. And this is Lucy. And her mom visits. She visits. She can visit whenever she wants. And she loves Lucy. And she's getting her schooling. And um, and that's fantastic. And maybe someday she'll be prepared to have a family. But currently, Lucy is with us. Hey, Lucy. She's with us. So thanks, guys. Bye.